Hi guys, just an update. So three weeks post texturizer and I've already had to dust my ends, guys. <sighs> really? So I've decided that I'm going to go back to being boring with my hair and buns. Buns, 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 buns. Like I used to every day, buns, buns gonna go back to my bun regimen I mean I have enjoyed it I mean I have experimented I've enjoyed like doing I did bantu knots I've done a nice braid out a couple of nice braid outs I did my um, flexi rod set but I just think it's been a bit too much for my hair but it's not that my hair can't take those things but I'm on a hair growth journey I'm trying to get somewhere so I think I need to just start getting serious now I'm gonna I'm heading towards one month post so I'm just gonna start fixing up from now um yeah so let me tell you what I think caused it the twist and lock gel because it was so drying for my hair I think that's got a lot to do with it and when it comes to separating your hair because obviously like for example I did my flexi rods set and I separated my um, curl after I took the flexi rods down so obviously I um, I separated them but because like the hair felt kind of crispy dry kind of thing I think that had something to do with it and I had um, um, those one strand knots at the end of my um, at my on my ends as well so I had to trim that as well and I'm just a bit disappointed but I'll show you how much I dusted it wasn't as much that much at all it was like the same as like three weeks ago was a quarter of an inch but I never have to dust at this stage and I'm kind of disappointed so and I was planning to dust every two months and now I've had to dust now so now that I've seen red light flashing at me I'm going to listen to that red light and just stick to my stick to everything I've been doing i am decided not to use a twist and lock gel anymore um because it's just i mean as much as it holds styles together it's just kind of too dry and it's not moisturizing enough i can't i don't want to use gels anymore because i don't know when i have an instinct or have a thought about something i usually listen to myself because i know how my hair is i know my hair is like super dry texturized or not because the some of the texture is still left it's just super dry so i just need to mo keep it really moisturized like I, I just my hair just won't take gels like i just I've always had a feeling about pe people using gel in their hair and I just know that it's not for me so I'll stop doing it. So I dusted my hair last night and my hair did need the dust, it did need to be dusted. Now my hair's in a bun and yeah I'm just, I mean I got excited because the weather was hot and I just wanted to be cute with my hairstyles and I just started doing hairstyles and now I just want to just get serious now get back serious and take it slow just like turn it down to slow motion and um just yeah just do buns really i can still like have my hair down and stuff like that but i just don't want to manipulate it too much because obviously black hair is more sensitive and you have to be extra careful especially when you're trying to grow your hair so let this be a lesson i mean I don't regret doing what I did to my hair because obviously I'm so glad that I've worked so hard of growing my hair and I can now wear my hair out. I can do what I want with it. It's just probably what the twist and lock gel, I think that has a lot to do with it. And probably I could have been a bit more gentle. Not that I'm not gentle with my hair, but I, I just know that I was excited and, you know, so much manipulation and so much handling. I'm sure that that's had something to do with it but not to worry guys I'm still on track when you dust you don't lose you don't see the length that's gone because um, you're just taking off like a little bit so I probably took like a quarter of an inch off and also like when I comb my hair and stuff like that or when I'm washing my hair or at any stage whatever I'm doing my hair I always look at the comb and see what's coming out and I, I, I just analyze like the strands of um, shedded hair that's come down and if it's got a split end at the end then I know that it's time to dust and I sometimes I pull my hair to my um, to my eyes and I'll just look at my hair for example I'll just like look at my ends and like really assess them and look and see if I need to 
you know, just to assess my hair. So that's very important. You have to like keep an eye on your hair and see what it's doing. But yeah, I just I'm just gonna be boring now and just be boring and just be boring. I might do a few braid outs here and there and I'll do cute styles, but I'm just I'm I'm just gonna be boring with my hair. But that's the way it should be. Just keep it in the bun. Blah blah blah. Speak to you soon. Bye.